watched the sunrise this morning. There's a bunch of whales out there and stuff, but it's the little things in life that matter, you know? And then we're gonna go put in a nice, long, hard day today. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my sheet metal, which is basically, I'm gonna go to the bank and get some cash out and then go pay my old boss for the sheet metal he made for me. He, uh, he made the dog house in the pitch pocket for the roof. I'm really not much of a tin knocker. I can, you know, I can install a few things, but yeah, I'm not building it. I was always a service guy. So it's a nice early morning here in Santa Cruz. It's been raining a bunch. We got our whole winter in one month, and now we're uh, got a nice sunny day here. Let's get out there and, and uh, get on this install. Let's rock it. All right, got my dog house here for the unit, and there's going to be my pitch pocket for the roof. It's a two-piece, so the lid comes off. I'll show you. Go get that installed. I'll show you guys that. Started up here. I'll give you NorCal's tip of the day. So I got this big CLC duffel bag right here for jobs like this. I just winched it up to the roof. I'm up on the rooftop. You could stuff it full of everything. I'm gonna walk you over here, and then we'll we'll unload this thing, and I'll show you all the stuff I got in here. We're up on the roof. Oh, yeah, that's where I left my hole yesterday. Put a cinder block over it. And there's my hole. Ready to rock and roll. Alright, inside the duffel bag. Let's see, what's the stuff in there? I got my drill. Bunch of clamps. I got that there. I got a bunch of my Armaflex. I got my electrical connector box, um, clamps for the line set, my electrical LB, spray foam, roof jack material, my screws, my cocker gun. Let's see what else. That looks like it. This thing's really hard. I've gotten to so far. Roof jacks installed, units mounted, uh, rigid coming through. Uh, the wires all connected. Um, that's how I got the condensing unit so far. That's the roof jack. It has a lid that goes on. Uh, after I get all the copper done, we'll spray foam that up too. And put the lid on. I'll show you that when we get to there. Now I'm going to start working on bending up my pipe. I'm going to probably use the air conditioner as my blue workbench. Get my pipe up here like this. To anneal it, we're gonna uh, turn some nitrogen through here when we, while we anneal it. Um, and I got some measurements. I'm gonna try and bend up a funny looking piece right here. If I screw up, I'll show you. And if I'm successful, of course you're gonna see it. And I had wrote down my measurements. I think I'm gonna come over 12, come down eight and a half, come over, and then bend her on down. Uh, and I think that's at 28 inches. Uh, let's see how we make out on this row for uh, annealing. Um, so I gotta heat this up to bend the pipe because this is ACR copper. I got this plug, fits different sizes of pipe. It has a, a little fitting that comes out, you know, like an access, quarter inch access. That's gonna be the Purgematic. I'm gonna make my first bend going to be at 12 inches I want a 90 down so I want to come out 12 inches and I want a 90 down come out 12 90 down and then I want a 90 over at eight and a half then I'm going to 90 back down the hole at 28 inches we'll see how this works out here I'll, uh, god I hope I can take you along for the ride here this would be kind of cool. the pipe all bent up so it's one solid piece no elbows big sweeping turns Way we like it for refrigeration i'm going to get some insulation on here drop it down the holes we'll clamp it up we'll fit it up and then we'll get it welded to the uh, suction service valve there the bend i did on the liquid line so it bends up in here look at this there's only one weld up there see 
that's that's a pipe fitter. This is a blow and go. You don't have to do it all fancy the way I do it. You can go soft copper line set, blow and go like this right here. You can leave your jug of Freon up on the roof. That belongs to somebody. A bunch of money right there. Sideshow Bob. And then this, that's Sideshow Bob job. You just go like that. You can do a couple of planks and wood, let it rip. Cut out like that. Or you could be a pipe fitter. And you do something like that. So, anyways, that's the difference. I like bending pipe, it's fun. That's kind of, that came out really cool. I still gotta spray foam this. I didn't screw the lid in yet. But that's like that. I'm gonna spray foam all that up inside there. Alright, now we gotta tear apart that downside. I'm gonna take lunch first, get all my shit off the roof. And then. Yeah, then. Demolition Derby. There's my bag full of crap. Flex, drills, boxes. Comes in handy. Then I put the winch in there when I'm all done working. It lives in that bag with all the chains and stuff. I think I had a link on the master. You get that for 89 bucks on Amazon. Norcal Dave pipe fitter. See the pipes all bent up and nice. Goes into this nice roof jack. It's all professional. So that's pipe fitter. This is Hack. Hack Central. Look at that. See that's Hack. Hacker Central. And that's Norcal refrigeration right there, baby. That's how we do it. Alright, it's uh, 7 o'clock at night. Uh, the damn seagulls are hounding me. Look at these turkeys. <laughs> They're all over me. I'm ready for a nitrogen test and then a vacuum. Uh, as you can see, we saw the sun come up today. We're going to see it go down. I didn't get much video of the uh, when I got in the attic and then changing out the evaporator. Once it was go time, it was go time. There's the dead evaporator in the box down there. I'm gonna get my vacuum pump up here right now. That's where I'm at so far. Heck of a day.